Hey everybody, David and David here from payitforward.com and upphone.com and in this video we're going to explain whether or not your iPhone can detect coronavirus. And let's just get this out of the way real quick. The answer is we, we don't know and the answer is no at this point. And you should also just get a coronavirus if test. You think if you're, you're, <laughs> yeah, this is not medical advice. This is not a proven system. This is a project that's in its research phase. There's one by Cambridge University mm -hmm. and there's one by Carnegie Mellon University in the US. And they are trying to use machine learning, artificial intelligence, along with recordings of people's voices, their speaking voice, and then coughing and breathing sounds to determine whether they can figure out an algorithm that will accurately detect COVID-19. So it's a really cool idea. Mm -hmm. Kind of makes sense that it would work and there would be a lot of similarities between people. But for this study to work, they need as much data as they can get. So whether or not you are healthy, or if you have COVID-19, you'd probably be even more valuable to them as a study uh, member. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yes, let's, uh, let's, let's do it. Let's show them how to do it. I'm gonna open the app store on my iPhone, and this app is just called COVID-19. COVID. Uh, COVID. COVID. COVID-19 sounds. COVID-19 sounds. Cough for science. So I already downloaded it. I'm gonna tap open. So I'd like to send you notifications, no thanks. This app aims to collect data, primarily coughs, breathing, and voice as part of a project. We'll collect basic demographics, medical history. Let's tap next. You must be over 16, I'm over 16. If you're biological sex, male, how old are you? Do you have any of these medical conditions? Let's say prefer not to say. Yeah. Tap next. Have you ever smoked e-cigarettes? No. That's interesting. It's an interesting question. Yeah. Hmm. We have uh, completed the demographic survey. We will now ask you about your symptoms. Do you have any of the following symptoms today? No, I definitely don't. Short of breath, tightness. Nope. Tap next. What is your current testing status? I haven't been tested. Do you think you have ever had a COVID-19 infection? No. Are you in hospital now? It's very good, British of them. Good grammar. Yeah. No, that's what they say. Okay. He's in hospital. All right. No. Press the red button below and breathe in and out as deeply as you can five times. There's going to be some uh, fast forwarding here. I'd like to access the microphone. Okay. Well done. You may listen to your recording. Or record again. I think I'm good. I think, I think you nailed it. I think so too. All right, next. I hope my data can help manage the virus pandemic. I hope my data can help manage the virus pandemic. I hope my data can help manage the virus pandemic. Next. All right, so we're going to give them one sample of my location. Allow once. Next. Great. You did it. Awesome. Yeah, you'll notice it didn't ask me for my name. It created a token, which is a unique identifier, but anonymously. So really, they don't have any information on, on who I am. They know where I am. They yeah, know well, where I am. We'll see what comes to this study and the other ones like it, and uh, mm. hopefully they can make some, some progress. Yeah, I hope so. So. Very cool. Yeah, this is kind of similar to, we did a video a while back where Apple had a symptom checker too, and you kind of went through what was going on and they said you might be have coronavirus you're probably okay you definitely have it and we can link to that in the description section right as well so this is nothing like that but it's not it's, i think okay well, what do you do you think it's like that i think it's similar it's in in that it's a coronavirus it, thing it's the a thing coronavirus is a, survey for public health benefit i think it was okay we're gonna go we're gonna agree to disagree especially because i don't have a great argument perfect to tell him why he's wrong Thanks for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Leave a comment down below with any other questions. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more great videos about iPhones.